What are AWS EC2 key pairs? Well, in short, it's a really secure way of controlling accesses to instances so people can't just get into your machines from wherever. But let's expand a little bit more behind it. EC2 key pairs use public-private key cryptography. That was actually something created long ago by Whitfield Diffie and Martin Hellman, a college student and his professor, where they literally dreamed up I'm talking literally dreamed up, uh, public and private key cryptography, which is now still today the standard for security almost everywhere when you're talking about going to a secure website on the internet or what you're talking about right now, accessing your EC2 instances that are out there. Now, the way it works is you have a public key, which can encrypt and decrypt data, and you have a private key that can encrypt and decrypt data. They are exact opposites of each other. Whatever is encrypted with the public key cannot be decrypted by anything but the private key. Vice versa, anything that you encrypt with a pri private key can only be decrypted by the public key. And the, and the brilliance behind this whole algorithm is that they're irreversible. If you have one key, you can't just figure out the other one. You, that, that's that's the, the secret behind security out on the internet today. So let's talk about how it relates to EC2. Whenever you generate a Windows instance, well, let me show it to you. I'm going to bring it up uh, right here. I've got a couple instances running. I click on launch instance, run through the, the little uh, wizard to create this. Let's choose uh, Windows 2008. Sure, sure, sure. There we go. It's asking us for a key pair. Now, we can use one of our existing ones, which I'm not going to. I'm going to create a new key pair. I'm going to say this key pair is micro key. Click on uh, create and download my key pair. And what I'm going to see down below is... Chrome suddenly go, aha, there's microkey.pem that was just downloaded. Bring that up in my folders, and if you're ever curious what I download, you can see it all right there. And I'm going to bring this over here. Let's get that out of the way, shall we? And uh, I'm going to bring this over here and talk about this is when I downloaded microkey.pem, this is the actual meat of, you see it right there, the private key. This is the key itself, not the algorithm or anything like that. That's just whenever something is encrypted, it runs through this giant blob to really kind of mush it all up to make sure nobody gets it. So now I've ha I have one half of the key stored on my computer. I'm going to close this down because I want to show you this. I've got an instance running right here. It's a Windows instance. Uh, SD Core TS01 is its name. When I right click on this for Windows, it says I've got get Windows password. And in order to do that, the way Amazon works it is they say, well, this is your encrypted password, which we encrypted with your public key. You don't have that because we only gave you the private key. That's what, what they uh, download anytime you create a uh, key pair on AWS. So I have this encrypted blob and I'm going, well, I, I don't need that. I, ne I need my Windows password. So what I need to do is find the PEM file CBT pair 2, which is what I already generated. So I choose that file. Look at all my downloads again. And there it is. That's the private. You can see it kind of puts it in. I can also paste it in there. And I say, decrypt my password. Tell me what that is. And it goes, aha, there is your password, which I will now quickly change so the internet does not get to that for this server. So you can now get into that server, manage that server, all that kind of stuff with that administrator username and password. That's how it impacts Windows machines. Nothing more. It's not a big deal because now I can go in and change that password to whatever I want to and I, I can chuck the key pair. I don't really need it. Linux, it's a little bigger deal. All of the Linux instances that Amazon creates by default actually log in with a key pair. Instead of having a username and password, it uses that private key to, to log into the system. So if you lose it, it's not like uh, Amazon can just tell you what your, your uh, password is. Now, you don't have to keep it that way. Once you log in the first time into a Linux instance, you can change it to say, well, I want to use username and password base. I don't want to use public private key or anything like that, but that's up to you. So if you have a key pair for Linux, the meat itself is what they give you. Amazon downloads an RSA private key to you. Now you've got the meat of it, but that's not a whole key. That's just the meat. So a lot of times you'll have to go and generate a full private key in order to use it in SSH. I'm going to show you right here uh, with, with um, oh, what am I thinking? Macintosh, Apple, OS X. Right here, this is just a website. You can grab this on Google and other, uh, you know, OS X really is free, free BSD on its underpinnings. Other, other, uh, 
Linux instances have different ways of doing this, but in OSX, they downloaded the EC2 command line tools and they generate a real key pair by using this commandlet, uh, EC2 add key pair, uh, and then they name it, EC2 key pair. Then you paste in that private key, the one I just showed you that's all text, into there, and that generates an actual key that you can use. If I scroll down a little bit more, you can use that when you're SSHing to your Linux instance. So I say SSH using this key pair I just generated from that meet, that private key, when you connect as the root user to this AWS instance. Last question, what if I lose my key? Well, if you're talking about a Windows or a Linux instance, so with Windows, if you lose your key, no problem as long as you change the administrator password or at least wrote it down. But let's say you didn't. Let's say you're locked out of it. One of the backdoor strategies that you can do is you can go in to your AWS management console, right click on the instance and say, I want to create another image out of this. Frankly, if you lose your key, you're stuck if you don't have any backdoor way of getting in. But what I can do is freeze this instance in time as an AMI, that's an image. Then I can generate another instance from that and get a new private key applied to it to where I can still get into it. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.